Hello everybody, Melissa here at TCT Crafts and thank you so much for tuning into our channel. Today we are going to be making an adorable Halloween swag. So we are going to be making this today using our fun little eyeball sprays, coordinating curly sprays and our fuzzy spider and all the things. This is going to be a super fun tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a super fun Halloween swag and I'm super excited about this one. I think it's going to be really cute and uh, I can't wait to get started on this design. So let's go ahead and go over some of our supplies that we're going to be using. I will be linking all of our supplies down in the description of this video. So make sure you look for there um, to get all the supplies that we're going to be using. Okay. So we're going to be using two of these swag bases. Now I picked up these swag bases a couple years ago. They had some decor already on them and I got them on sale after clearance. I don't remember where I want to say it was like a big lots or Michael's somewhere like that. Um, I just picked off the little ornaments. They had some little, little berries and some little pumpkins on there. I just picked those off because I just want to use the swag base. Okay. So we're going to be using two of these and I'm just going to be putting them together. You can scale up, scale down. You can just use one if you want to. I just want mine a little fuller. So I'm going to use two. We're going to be using uh, one roll of this black mesh. Um, it probably will take the full roll, but we might can get away with half. We'll see. I'll let you guys know, but we're going to plan for a full roll of mesh. I have this adorable little spider and he's so cute. I think he came from, I want to say the Dollar Tree. It was $3. So we're going to be using this foam little spider. Look at these. These are new in our shop. I just love them. I'm so excited to be working on working with them. So we're going to be using these little foam eyeball picks. We're going to use little matching curly cue sprays. We have some little um, lollipops we're going to be tying in. And then I brought in some little moss curly sprays. Okay. We'll add in just a dab of ribbon. I'm just pulling in some leftover orange and black and a little bit of our green and black Harlequin. Um, so those are the two ribbons that we're going to be doing. Okay. So those are the supplies that we're going to be using for this um, design. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way and we will go get started on preparing our base. All right, so I am going to take these two bases and I'm just going to set them right on top of each other. Again, if you just want to use one, that's fine. They're just a little thin, so I want to just double them up and make sure I have um, the fullness that I want. Okay. I'm just going to take a zip tie. And we're just going to run that through and zip tie these two together. And we'll also tie some of the little pine needles together as well. Okay. So I'm just going to get these tied in, in a couple places. And actually, let me stop before we get these super tied in. I know that I want, because these stems are long, because these stems are long, I want to use this stem as some support for my swag base here. I think I'm just going to kind of get him situated in there and then that way I can zip tie it together as well. So I'm going to have one up at the top and one sort of at the bottom. So if I get them in now, I can zip tie them to that base instead of trying to undo it later. So I just put, I just ran those right underneath this top one. So they're right in the middle and we'll kind of play with them and get them 
situated how we want them later, but I know I want them in here like this. So now I'm gonna take my zip tie and zip tie these together. And that'll get those stems in there. You could cut those stems if you didn't wanna do it this way. You could cut them, you would just have to glue the end of the fabric back. Cause when you cut it, that will be exposed. We're just gonna do it this way. We get one down here at the bottom. And then we're gonna add some of our mesh. So if this guy's sticking out too far, we'll tuck him, in. we'll tie him in. Let me just go ahead and, well, I'm gonna wait till I get the mesh. We can always tie him in or push him up a little bit later if we need to. All right, so now I have that tied in. I'm gonna take a couple of our zipped, our pine ties, not zip ties, a couple of our pine ties from the bottom and just tie it around as well. So I'm just getting some from the bottom and twisting it around. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some of our mesh started. So I will not do the whole thing with you guys, but I'll get you started just in case you're a new viewer. Um, if you are welcome, drop your name and where you're watching from in the comments. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the designs too. So drop those comments. Let me know what you think. Okay, let me get my scissors. This is how I do my fabric. I do not measure, okay? I just drop it to the floor. I hold it up and I cut. When you're using these artificial pine faces, they, um, they're very forgiving. You don't have to be perfect on your, on your cuts. The mesh is just really just kind of filler. You don't really see the mesh very much in my designs. Um, if you're gonna do a complete, just a mesh wreath on like a wire form, then you might wanna use a rotary cutter and measure them all the same size but for my designs i do not okay so let's just cut up this many um, so we can move on and i'll show you how i roll them and get started and then we'll we'll jump to the finished wreath base once i get everything on okay so this is how i do my mesh i hold it up to my chest i just roll it in and then I scrunch, okay? Then I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna find two of my little ties. I'm gonna push that mesh all the way in and twist. Okay, let's do a couple more. And twist. If you're not comfortable doing it that way, you can roll them on your table. Take your mesh. Let me switch you guys down different views so you can see. Just roll your in, scrunch, roll your in, and you can do it that way as well. Okay, either way. So I am just going to go all the way around, all the way around on the outside, and I'll put a couple on the inside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and then we will come back. Okay, we are back. I have gone all the way around our swag base with our mesh. I did use the entire roll of the black mesh. So just to let you know, I did use that whole roll, okay? Let's go ahead and move forward. This is the fun part. We get to start designing. Let's get our fuzzy little spider in here. So let me just kind of figure out where I want to get him placed. And if you don't want to use a spider, you could use a pumpkin. Just really anything here in the center. 
Okay, and I'm just, I just held it up a little bit so I could see what it's gonna look like when it's hanging on the door. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it with a bunch of glue. And then because he's foam, we're gonna use our floral pins and also help secure him. And then we can also take some of his little legs and glue them where we want them so that he doesn't flop around. Okay, let me get a couple of floral pins. So I'm just gonna use these little metal floral pins. You can get them um, on Amazon or Hobby Lobby, any of the places. I'm gonna just cut it down. I just cut it down a little bit shorter because I don't want that pin going all the way through my spider. And then I'm just gonna take and I'm just going to push these pins, I'm gonna grab some of that mesh and then just push it right up into that spider. There it goes. And that's gonna help hold it in place. Okay, let me get another one. And then just going to cut it down with my cutters. So that way I have just a little, a little nib I'm gonna grab underneath this mesh. And push it down into that spider. Okay, I've got two on the front. I wanna get one on his little hiney back here. taking the mesh, running that pin right up through that mesh into the spider. He's a little tough, but I got it. Okay, perfect. So now Mr. Spider is not going anywhere. I'm gonna wait till the end to kind of position our legs and see if we wanna glue them down. But for right now, I wanna just leave it until we get done. Okay, so I think I want to do a bow right here. And so I'm going to take some of this bare silk. I am not sure if we have this in the shop, but if we do, I will link it for you. And the reason I'm going with the orange is because in his eyeball, he has some orange. So I wanted to bring out some of the orange color and give it a little bit of color besides just having the green. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing how long I want my tail. So I'm just going to pinch. I've only got a little bit left of this ribbon. So I'm almost thinking, trying to see if I want to do just like a one loop. I think we're just gonna do one loop twist. That way we have enough for the other side. Okay. So just a little bit for up top. And now I'm going to get, what did I do with it? Here we go. Our green ribbon. And we'll just do one loop of it as well. I don't, I'm not measuring my loops. If you're using a bow maker, I'd say probably seven inches. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can find a pine, two pine ties, which I have right here. I'm just gonna twist those tightly into there and then we'll add some glue. Tie that in. 
All right, let's fix our tails. I think I'm just going to do, I'm gonna fold this one up. And then we'll dovetail this one. side up here. So we'll probably just do the same thing, just a one loop because I only have a little bit of this ribbon left. So I'll probably have to do a shorter tail. I'm going to do shorter tails because I only have just a tiny bit left. a few little tails of this green around the side, but we won't have any more of the orange. Use what you guys have. If you only have a little bit, use just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to dovetail these again. show you what we got so far. Isn't that super fun? We don't even have our curly sprays in. Okay, let's go ahead and add a few tails around the side with our green just to give it a little bit more of this ribbon. I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm just putting it in, finding my tie. Twisting. That one was a little tricky. And then I'm just kind of seeing how long I want it and I'm cutting. And now I want to go right up under, right up under this eyeball. right up under there. I'm just kind of having to manipulate it how I want it here. I'm going to make this one kind of hang down. This one will hang to the side. We're going to put some other little things in there to kind of help um, cover up our mechanics. Okay, we have our bow there, so let's maybe put one over here. one up at the top. Okay. So 
I think that's all we're going to do with our ribbon. We can go ahead and put that up. And then let's move into our little fun curly sprays. I am going to cut these up. I brought two. Hopefully we can just get away with the two. We'll make it work. Okay, this is a longer piece and I want him to come sort of out down here. I actually think I want it a little bit further down. Yes, so I just kind of shove that right in the middle there. It's nice and secure in between those two where we zip tied them. And then I'm just going to hit it with some glue. If I don't like this single tail, we can add another one. I'm waffling on whether I want another little, where did I put the ribbon? I'm waffling on if I want another little tail hanging down like that. So we have two. I think I like that. So I'm just going to take, we're just going to make us a tail. So I'm going to untie this where we tied that other one in. Twist it around. We'll hit it with some glue in a second. We fix that. I don't like. I don't like the way that tied in. Let's try this again. Take two. this with some glue. Here. We're going to stick it right in, right in here. Love it. Love it. Super cute. Okay, let's go. Right in there. We'll cut this down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to push that one right in there. Right in those ties. up at the top there. Okay, let's get our second one. Right 
up under our spiders. Maybe. There we go. Right up his, under his little hiney. I think I like having his little leg go through that loop like that. We're gonna leave that there. Do this one more towards the center of underneath our spider. We don't want to just do the outside, we want to bring that into the center as well. Bring that right up in there, right up in the center. Okay, we have two more pieces. right underneath this eyeball. This one's not wanting to go in right. There we go. I'm going to hit it with a little bit extra glue because I was playing with it there. Okay, we have one more piece. So let me look and see where I want this one. coming up over that spider like that. Let's do it. Let's do it there. Okay. So let me show you what we have so far. Here is our design so far. Isn't that super fun? I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, let's add in our lollipops. So I'm going to take this little ribbon off. I don't want the ribbon on there. Maybe. I can get it off. I'll use my scissors. Okay, and you cut these lollipops down because they're wrapped in ribbon. You'll have to re-glue that ribbon right here. So I just hold it with my finger. Add just a drop of glue. And dab it. Okay, so now let's see where we want to put our lollipops. I'm thinking somewhere around the bow, maybe. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna have to just redo what I just did with that little string, but that's okay. We've got that. Okay, so we've got that tucked in our bar bow. I brought in three of these. Let me do the same thing. Let me take this off. So I think we're going to tuck this one. So diagonal. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Tickle. So I got this one here. We're going to go diagonal with this one. Right in there. This 
This is why I hate pulling it out sometimes after you get it in there. Because then it doesn't want to go back in how you had it. Okay. Now we brought in, I brought in some of these moss curlies just to kind of help break it up a little bit. So let me cut these up. This one is being difficult here. So I think I'm going to put this one maybe wrap that around there. Ooh, I kind of like that. I'll see that. I'll just wrap that one around there. I'm not going to pull it back out. I'm just going to glue it right in place. my fingers but I'm gonna wrap this black tie right around there as well and hit it with a little bit of glue. Okay so that one is like growing together. I think we need some more green in our in our center here. Maybe up underneath show you guys at the beginning when we were going over supplies. I'm trying to see where I want this one. I think right back there. Yo, yo, yo. Be careful when you stick your hands in there. I just burnt myself. because it's black but yes the little pine branches and uh wrapped it around there tuck that one in right there right behind that little loop two more pieces Where I want it. 
we're gonna go right up in there. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. And when I get it hung up, I can fix the little curlies and kind of get them going exactly where I want them. Okay, let's see what we have so far. Super cute. Oh, it. So adorable. Now, the last thing I have just to fill in some holes that I forgot to show you guys at the beginning when we are going over all our supplies is I picked up this um, little Halloween bush, this little bush at, at Walmart. I saw it there at Walmart. And so I'm gonna take a couple and I'm gonna pick out some of these little glittery pumpkins. And we're gonna use these to tuck in some of our holes. And we might use some of the leaves and flowers, but we're for sure going to use these little pumpkins. Let's, let's use those first and then see if we still need to fill in with anything else. We have some of the flowers too if we need to. Okay, so I think we have a hole right here. I want to stick one of the little pumpkins right in there. If you can get it in there, I'm gonna glue it because I don't want to move it. There we go. Okay, so that pumpkin is just gonna rest right there, fill in that little hole. We'll use a flower or something right there because I don't want two pumpkins right next to each other. I think we'll stick one right up in there. his little leg. He's trying to come out here. So I'm just going to glue that back together there. Okay, we have a hole, which you guys probably can't see on the camera. I don't know if you guys can see. We have a hole like right in here. There's like a hole right here. So I need to fill that in with something. Yeah, we can go in. I just didn't know if I wanted to add the florals. But we have a couple of these little flowers. I can tuck in there. I just don't know that I want the flowers in there, y'all. Let me see what it would look like. I don't want to just have one, so we need to put 
we need to put a couple more in different places so let's just see what it looks like before i glue it down if i put a couple of these in there okay i don't hate it that looks good all right so let's do that so a lot of these little flower pieces just kind of tuck them in there i'm going to use this one right here to fill in our hole so we've got one, two, let's get a third one. Maybe right there. bush. I can save them for another project or we can see if we want to tuck them any, anywhere else. Kind of like that one. Giving our little loops some support because we didn't anchor our bow with this design. So maybe let's do one up at top just to tie it all together. Bush, but I just don't know that I want to add on since I only have three pieces, so I will save it. And I think we are done. Okay, so here is our finished design. Isn't it just so adorable? We got to use our fun little eyeball sprays and our fuzzy little spider and the curlies and all the things. I think it turned out super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween swag. If you enjoy this tutorial, if you love home decor, seasonal decor, um, making your own arrangements or wreaths or centerpieces, all the things, we would love to have you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we go um, and have a new tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye y'all.